Hello and welcome back to the second channel. Week seven in a row without missing an upload. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm out of ideas. So today I thought we'd take it easy and do a nice little Q&A and let you guys ask me some questions. However, knowing you guys, there's gonna be some interesting questions. When I say interesting, I mean interesting. I guarantee there's gonna be about a million questions about Lord Farquaad. Let's see what the top comment was last week. I can almost guarantee you it says if this is top comment. Please prove me wrong. What is it? Oh, and of course, I was right. If this gets top comment, George needs to go out in London dressed as Lord Farquaad. Oh wait, that's not even top comment. Yes, thank you God. That's not actually top comment. This one here is 320. I don't know why it's below this one. If this gets top comment, of course, another one. George has to speak an American accent for the whole video. I mean, I can do that, but it's like, you wouldn't want me to do that. So I'm not going to do a whole video like that. So what I'm going to do is, I'll do the next bit of the video in an American accent, but not the whole video. All right, American accent. <laughs> Activated. All right, I'm now American. Enough of your guys' comments. Today we're gonna head on to Instagram and answering your guys' questions. This feels so strange. So as you can see here, I posted this in my story earlier, asking you guys to send me in questions on my story. So today I'm gonna answer them. Is that enough American accent for you? Please be enough. I'll read the first question, but I'm not answering an American, okay? All right, for this first one, I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm not even looking right now. I'm just randomizing it. What are we gonna get, guys? Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. <laughs> Let's go for this one. Are you gonna be the biggest catfish of 2021? All right, that's actually enough of the American accent now. But yes, I plan on being the biggest catfish for the rest of my career. I feel like I've proved myself as the biggest catfish. I've catfished in 2019. I've catfished in 2020. It's just part of me. It's part of the George Mason nation. No one can ever claim it. I mean, people can try and claim it, like Bambino Becky, who tried to say she was the biggest catfish. I don't know if you guys saw my Reddit video where I called her out, but I literally said to her, you have two weeks to respond. And she didn't respond. <laughs> well, she didn't respond on Twitter. So I tweeted out the video and she replied, ha 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 I don't know why there was need for a space. Oh no. She realized she'd made a mistake. So I replied, I'm hearing a lot of laughing, but not a lot of apologizing. And she then replied, I have made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment. And I want to apologize for being the biggest catfish of 2020. Yep, she really tried to do a Conor McGregor on me. So I said, this is war. But that's all we got. She hasn't responded since then. I think Becky realized she was way too deep and she just swam away. She just doesn't want the George Mason Nation smoke. So yeah, to answer your question, yes, I'm still the biggest catfish and I don't plan on letting anyone take her. All right, next question. How many times have you searched slash read George Mason fanfic? Be honest, Georgie Farquaad. First of all, never call me Georgie Farquaad again. That is the worst thing I've ever heard. Second of all, I've actually never searched that. Is there George Mason fanfics? I really hope there's not. George Mason fanfic. Okay, there's one fanfic .net, Mason slash George. Is that me? Please don't be me. Oh wait, this is fan fictions about people called Mason and people called George. One shot. Mason decides to help George out and get some pictures for her cubicle. For her cubicle. Like a toilet cubicle? <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't think there's any fan fictions about me. Thank you. Let's keep it that way. I don't want any fan fictions about me. Knowing you guys, you'll make some really weird ones about Shrek and Lord Farquaad. Let's not do that. On a scale of Shrek to Lord Farquaad, how good are you today? I mean, on a scale of Shrek, to Lord Farquaad. I mean, my hair is probably on the Lord Farquaad side. Does Shrek even have hair? Shrek's bald, isn't it? Wait, I want to see something. Shrek with the top suggestion, Shrek with hair. Everyone wants to know what Shrek looks like with hair. What else is there? Shrek with abs, Shrek with makeup, Shrek with glasses, Shrek with the taste of your lips. What's this? Oh my gosh. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Draquad romance confirmed Shrek 5. With the taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. Why is Shrek kissing Lord Farquaad? I that's enough of that. I don't need to see that. How did I get here? I just wanted to see what Shrek looked like with hair. Honestly, Googling Shrek is a slippery slope. One minute you're looking for him with hair, the next you're looking at him kissing Lord Farquaad. What was even the question? Oh, on a scale of Shrek to Lord Farquaad, how good are you today? I, I don't know. Donkey? Is that on the scale? I'm gonna go with Donkey. All right, we've got one here from Rosiana, and they said, at what age did you start flexing? I've been flexing since the day I was born. Next question. Ever want to give up with YouTube? Not saying you should, but do you ever have doubts? That's a good question. I've been doing YouTube since since I was probably, how old was I? I, I want to say 13-ish. So this right here is actually the first video I ever uploaded to YouTube. You literally made this on Windows Movie Maker. The players of the season so far are Andy Carroll. Uh, this is literally just a slideshow. There's just pictures of players. Oh look, was that my channel? Made by G-Man W16. <laughs> what a name, G-Man W16. Oh, no results found. RIP G-Man W16. If you'd like to me do a whole video reacting to old videos, I've got a lot here. So if you 
to see that, let me know. Let's get 5k likes on the video and I'll do that. The reason I'm saying this is because I've literally been making videos since I was in school. And when I was at school, it was hard to make videos because literally I would just get roasted. I would get roasted so bad for making videos. Is when I started making vlogs and filming my face, that was the only time where I actually kind of considered not doing it because it was generally really embarrassing when people just put me on the screen in front of the whole class and I'd just be sitting there like, oh no, please no. I literally had teachers put it up. Why were my teachers roasting me? What kind of school did I go to? And my videos back then were so cringy and I knew that, but I just didn't really know how to not be cringy back then. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I still don't now. But yeah, literally back then, I like the peak of it where I was getting like roasted every day. Before I would go to school, I would literally private all my videos just so literally people couldn't get the videos up in school and just be like, ha, ah, George Mason TV. So yeah, that was the only time I really considered quitting YouTube and it wasn't even because I didn't enjoy it. I still did enjoy it. That's why I carried it on. But I just kind of considered not doing it because I had enough of being roasted. So don't roast me or I'll quit, all right? All right, what else have we got? Are you human or an ogre? Ogre. <laughs> would you date yourself? Yes, 100%. I would date me. You know what I say? If you want to date yourself, no one's going to date you. I mean, no one dates me anyway, so maybe I wouldn't date myself. We've got one here from Dan Williams and they said merch release date. I'm excited for this one because I can now officially give you guys a date of my new merch release. My merch will be releasing on the 30th of August, 2020, which is literally next Sunday, one week from today, if you're watching this video the day it's uploaded. Literally one week. And I can now reveal to you the new merch. Drum roll, please. Ooh. Here it is. This is the new merch. Look at this. This is the first ever catfish clothing. It's my new merch slash clothing. I'm doing this merch all on my own. It's been so stressful. Literally, it's been so long, but it's finally ready. I'm so happy with it. As you can see, it says catfish. Here it is on. Honestly, this jumper is the nicest jumper I've ever owned. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. It genuinely is. The logo is completely embroidered. It's so nice. Let me show you through my design process for the whole thing. Let me explain a bit to you. So the whole thing makes sense. So here was like my mood board. I just wanted to make something that I'd wear and something I'd wear all the time. And I'm genuinely going to wear this all the time. I've been wearing this all the time. And the reason this logo looks like this is because I sort of wanted to go for like a ransom letter sort of design. So like, you know, moves where like the bad guy or like a stalker sends someone a letter like this, where it's like all magazine cuttings cut up. I wanted to do something like that because that's kind of what a catfish is. Being a catfish is the whole sort of thing of being anonymous, being someone else that's not actually you. This hoodie, by the way, is so soft. It's made using sustainable manufacturing. So if you're buying this, you're basically saving the planet. The hoodie's also vegan approved. It's 100% organic cotton. And it'll be up for sale next Sunday, the 30th of August. So set the date in your calendars. So if you want to get yourself a catfish hoodie, designed by me, hand-packed by me, next Sunday, head over to the website. They're going to be available for two weeks on a pre-order. So yeah, get ready for that. Get ready to get yourself a catfish hoodie. Once the two weeks are up, this hoodie will never be for sale again. This is the only time you'll be able to get this hoodie. Oh wait, I haven't even shown you the best bit yet. The best bit about this hoodie. This hoodie, as well as the biggest flex of a hoodie ever, this merch will make you no longer broke. Here's why. So let me guess, you're broke. You still use wise, right? Usually I look down on people like that. But with this hoodie, I'm going to help them. So let me pretend I'm you. Did someone say catfish? Yeah, that's Wait, me. are those wires? Yeah, I know. I don't I don't have AirPods. I'm, I'm saving up for AirPods. But if you've got a catfish hoodie, you can hide your wires by putting the wires through your jumper. There's a hole inside the pocket for you to put your wires through. Look, you put your wires through or you put an adapter on it, plug it into your phone, put the hood up, and you've basically now got AirPods. Now you walk along, did someone say he catfish? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, these are AirPods. Yeah, these are yeah, these are the new AirPods. Everyone's gonna think you're rich. No one's gonna see your wires. You're literally gonna catfish them with a catfish hoodie. So if that hasn't sold it to you, I don't know what will. Next Sunday, the 30th of August, get yourself one. All right, next question. Post more on first. I've actually got a video going out on the main channel next week, so get ready for that. The thing is, I'd love to post more on my main channel, but I've just set the bar so high for quality that I don't wanna upload something that I'm not really, really proud of. Whereas this channel, I'll upload anything. I'm literally sitting here doing a QA. I'm joking. I still want to make good videos on this channel, but for my main channel, I just want to do videos that I spend a lot of time on and a lot of effort. Whereas this channel is more just sit back, chill, call me Lord Farquaad and have a good time. Why do you keep losing followers? Now this one, this one hurt me. Three videos ago, I said I'd do whatever the top comment was on that video and the top comment was change your profile picture to Shrek. So I did that. My profile picture is Shrek. And at the time, I had 100,000 followers. And as of right now, I have 99,300 followers. Yes, I literally lost 700 followers because I changed my profile picture to Shrek. You guys literally just want to ruin my life. So yeah, I think I'm going to change my profile picture back to my last one. Sorry, Shrek, but you've just got to go. But yeah, big rip to 100k. Gone, but never forgot. Someone said, which uni did you go to? I didn't actually go to university. I went to sixth form and sixth form for me, I've had enough. So literally halfway through sixth form, I was like, I cannot do any more education. I'll finish my A-levels. And after that, I'm out. I'm done. So I didn't go to university. I actually got a job, which to be fair, was not a job I wanted and a job that I really didn't 
enjoy. But I became a plumber, yes. Who would have thought it? I used to be a plumber. I finished school and I didn't have a job and I tried to get a job in like graphic design, photoshopping and stuff because that's my only skill. But I couldn't get one, so I was literally at home like, oh, what do I do? I want to be a YouTuber, but I have no subscribers. So my dad was like, well, that sounds like a you problem. You have to get a job. So I had to work for my dad and he has a plumbing company, so I worked for that. So yeah, I was literally a plumber. Wait, do I have any pictures? Oh, here's me. Here's me at work. <laughs> Look how miserable I look. Honestly, I was miserable. Plumbing was just not for me. I am actually a fully qualified plumber, believe it or not. Wait, I want a photo of me actually doing some work for once. Oh, here we go, here we go. Look, there's me working. I told you I had a job. Look, there's me unscrewing a boiler. <laughs> I told you I was a plumber. Wait, is there any more? Oh, those were not the days. Those were definitely not the days. I also didn't flex that I was a plumber. When I was a plumber, I wasn't like, hey, hey, can you just take a picture of me whilst I clean your boiler? I had to do this for the college because I had to prove that I actually went to work. Oh, look, here's more of me. Look at my hair. Oh my gosh, my hair was so blonde. But whilst I was doing this, as you can see, literally the next photo on the camera roll is literally a YouTube thumbnail. I knew I wanted to be a YouTuber. I just didn't know how to be a YouTuber. I worked as a plumber for a whole year whilst trying to make YouTube work. I worked as a plumber in the week and a YouTuber on the weekends and somehow I managed to make it work and yeah here we are now what was even the question how did I get here oh did I go to uni no <laughs> how did I make this question that long I didn't go to uni I'm now a plumber and a youtuber Thatcher Joe more like plumber George <laughs> someone just said dead trim mate thanks I know I haven't had a haircut for about six weeks it's my hair literally I think my hair may be at the Lord Farquaad stage so the video everyone started calling me Lord Farquaad it was the verified on tinder video this is when everyone started calling me Lord Farquaad I don't know it's my I think my hair's not quite quite there yet, but we are about to hit that stage. So you know what I think saying I have a dead trim, you're not that inaccurate. However, funnily enough, the person next to them said, why is your hair so hot? I mean, the hair is a hit or miss. It's a marmite. You either love it or you hate it. I think I'm more on the hate side, but I literally can't get a haircut. But there's your proof. Some people actually like it. And on that note, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know if you want to see me do more Q&As. And if you want to be a part of a future one, make sure you follow me on Instagram and get me back to 100k, please. Also, don't forget, guys, 30th of April, my new merch is coming out the catfish merch. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been George Mason over and out. Boom.